Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to continue talking about some of the vocabulary words associated with a designed experiment, specifically placebo, blinding, and control, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that, but I just want to make sure that we have a very clear understanding of those three terms. Now, if you're talking about doing research for the FDA, so you're trying to get a new drug um, on the market, one of the things that they will sometimes do is have a drug that has been around that has been proven to be effective and use that as a control. So that means that's your baseline. This is, this is a good drug. It's working. It's doing what it's supposed to do. That's your control variable or your control group, the people taking the existing drug. Now, the way that they will then test that is to test it against a new drug. So a new drug that they're trying to bring to the market. And they want to see if the benefits of that are good enough that you can justify bringing that new drug to the market. Is it a huge improvement that it's worth the money to bring that drug to market? That's why we're comparing it to what's called a control group. Then you also have something that can be a placebo situation. Now, with a placebo, remember that means that it has no active ingredients. So a placebo looks and acts exactly like the drug that you're trying to test. So you see here that these two, they look exactly the same, but one would be the active drug and the other would be the placebo. Now when that happens, when you have a placebo, that means that the person receiving the placebo is blind, as well as the people who are receiving the active drug, they're blind to who's getting what drug because the drug looks exactly the same, it tastes exactly the same if there's taste to it, so that you don't know which group you're in. So it eliminates that thing called the placebo effect, where you're taking a drug and you're like, oh yeah, I feel better. Well, maybe it's actually a placebo, so it's going to help you eliminate that placebo effect or that mental effect. So you are blinded then in a placebo group as well as that uh, active drug group as to who's receiving the real drug and who's receiving the placebo. So blinding means that you're hiding information. You could also blind the researchers to who's in what group. You can blind people who are um, doing the data entry. There's a lot of reasons that you would do blinding, especially in the drug um, field because you don't want people to have an ulterior motive. So most of the time, specifically in FDA trials, you actually would blind everybody and individuals who are participating in the study get kind of a serial code. They scan that, scan the drug. Nobody knows who's getting what so that nobody can affect change. So that's another way that you can collect data in a designed experiment. You can do a placebo, you can have a control group, and then you would have the thing called blinding where individuals don't know which group or who is in which group. So in future videos, we'll talk about ways to analyze this data. See you there.